Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch and welcome to the gaming review of the U Eureka. Now, this is an excellent smartphone available for Rs. 899 and comes with a Snapdragon 615 Octa Core processor, 5.5 inch HD display, and 2 gigs of RAM. So, let's start with Dead Trigger 2. Now, we are playing this game in high performance mode, and as you can see, gameplay is rather smooth here. I haven't noticed any lag or frame drop till now. The touch response is also quite good. There is no lag here, no frame delay and no frame drop. Excellent gameplay till here. Now sadly apps can't be moved to external storage on the Yo Eureka, so you are left with the 12.5 gigs of available storage out of the 16 gig ROM. Now we are playing Temple Run 2 here. Now the color saturation levels of this display are a bit off. It tends to show greener colors a bit more brightly and there's slight bluish tint to it as well. The color profile is definitely not up to mark. Now we are playing Riptide GP2 and you can see how wide the viewing angles of the display are. There's almost no distortion in brightness of colors when it's tilted. Moreover, excellent touch response, excellent frame rate as well. The Adreno 405 GPU that powers graphics here does the job quite well. Now we are playing Subway Surfers and again you can see the problem with colors here. All colors look either oversaturated or with a different tint to them. The color profile of this display definitely needs some work, but smooth gameplay here as well. Now we are playing Frontline Commando D-Day. Again smooth gameplay, I haven't noticed any lag here whatsoever till now. The contrast levels of the display aren't that great either. But I'm just nitpicking here, really. Apart from the color profile, there are no major issues with this display. Smooth gameplay here as well, consistent frame rates. Now we are moving on to 6 guns. And I do notice a little bit of frame drop here. There's a slight lag in touch response as well. You can notice the lag here. Now this phone is beginning to get a bit heated up. Moreover, the speakerphone could have been slightly louder. It's clear, but it should have been a little bit louder. Now we are playing Shadow Gun. Smooth gameplay here. The U Eureka actually runs on Cyanogen OS 11, based on Android KitKat. And you have 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM and the Octa-Core Snapdragon 615 powering this smartphone. Adreno 405 takes care of graphics here. And more or less, this phone can handle all the games that you throw at it, at least based on the specifications. Shadowgun is actually playing quite well. Gameplay is smooth here, consistent frame rates as well. I haven't noticed any lag, smooth touch response here. The speakerphone could definitely have been a little louder, but overall smooth gameplay till now. Now we are playing Real Racing 3, a high-end racing game, and you can see the effects in the background. The graphics look sharp as well, it's an HD display, wide viewing angles, it's an IPS panel, and no frame drop or frame delay. Next up we play Nova 3 and the phone is actually heated up quite a bit, especially near the back, just below the camera. Now during my gaming review with this phone, I found temperatures rise to about 40 to 42 degrees centigrade and then thermal throttling begins. So you can see Nova 3 lagging here quite a bit. 
There are some frame drops as well. Now we are playing Need for Speed Most Wanted. And I do notice a little bit of frame drop here and there. The frame rates are definitely not consistent here. But yes, this game is definitely playable. Now, although apps and app data are not movable to the external storage, you can easily root this phone and use apps like Link to SD. Now, routing is supported by the warranty on the U Eureka, so you won't be at risk here. Now, we are playing Modern Combat 5. And again, I see signs of overheating. Just below the camera portion, the phone is really hot at the moment. And if you play continuously games for about 10 minutes or so, this phone does get hot. After that, thermal throttling begins and you see a lot of lag, which I can now see in Modern Combat 5 as well. But other than that, this phone can basically play all the games that you throw at it but some games you would observe a bit of lag as you see in Modern Combat 5 and Nova 3 as well. Now there are software side of things which can be fixed by Cyanogen themselves or you can simply root this phone and tweak yourself. Now this is the last game of our review, we are playing Asphalt 8 Airborne in high settings. And just to comment on the color profile of the display again, this car looks really greener than it should be. It seems more saturated and there is a slight tint to it as well which shouldn't be there. Well folks that was a gaming review of the Yo Eureka. We found some problems with heating on the device, the color profile is not perfect. Moreover, the speakerphone should have been a little louder. But some of these issues are software related and they can be fixed with updates. And then there's that, that apps are not movable to external storage. But you still have 12.5 gigs available right out of the box. So for this price of Rs. 8999, this is not such a bad buy even for gaming. We'll be back with more on the U Eureka. Till then you can watch its unboxing as well as the gaming review of the Redmi Note 4G. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching and as always have a great day.